Hi, my name is Mike. This session shows how to create a chat client with TML ZDX for Python. To create a nice user interface, TK is used. For network communication and data formatting, the TML ZDX modules are imported. To simplify the example, the server address is configured in the script. The application window is implemented as a TK frame descendant and equipped with controls to make a chat client. The main function of the chat client script creates the client window and enters the application loop. For this example I'm using a client server model. The server distributes the messages to the connected clients. I will show how to write the server script in another session. The clients are started on one machine with different ports to demonstrate how to use the chat. Click the connect button on each client will inform the server of a new chat group member. The clients already connected to the group are informed about a new member. Now I can write a message in the text box and send it to all chat members using the send button. To enable network communication with TML, a TML core object needs to be added to the application. The core object is a wrapper around the TML core handle used by the API functions. Receiving messages requires the listener to be bound to an interface, address and port. The listener enabled property controls the status of the listener. I add the TML core object instance to the application mainframe as a private member. Receiving messages with TML requires a profile to be added to the core. Multiple profiles can be implemented. All available profiles can be accessed by the profiles property. The profiles property provides an interface similar to a Python list. To ensure proper initialization use the addProfile method to add a new profile. The new profile is returned by this method. The profile provides all methods and functions to send and receive commands, events and streams. Callback functions can be assigned to handle profile related events. For easy access of the only profile in my chat client I add a reference to it as a private member of my application object. To identify the profile a unique string based on my URL is used. A random port number is used for the listener binding to enable multiple instances on one host. Now the listener can be started. check. Ok, no errors. I want to display the listener binding and add a line to the memo. Yeah, looks ok. Messages and new client notifications are broadcasted as events from the chat server. I will use the connect button to register my client as an event consumer for my chat profile. The register event consumer method of the profile informs the server to send future events to my client. I need to provide the server host and port to register successfully. To disconnect, I call the unregister event consumer method. There is no button related to this disconnect function, but it is called on script termination.
For the different events I need to register handler functions identified by a numeric ID that is unique for my profile. Event and command handlers are both registered with the register command method of the profile. The only difference between events and commands on the receiver side is that events do not return a result. The handler function needs to be implemented according to the on-command call definition with the profile and command object as parameter. The event ID 2001 is a message received from any other client that has to be displayed in the memo. The sender added its own address to the binding parameter. I compare it to my binding to exclude own messages from printing. The message itself is passed in the message parameter. The data property of the command object is a ZDEX document and can pass much more complex data to the handler function. Notifications about other clients connecting or disconnecting are sent with the ID 2002. The parameter status is used to print the correct action. After registration of the command handler functions, the client is ready to receive messages. To have anything we can receive, the client must be enabled to send a message. I'm using the call sync method of the profile to send a command to the server and wait for the reply. The command has a data property that calls the acquire data method to get a CDEX document as a container for data to be passed to the receiver. The send button event method is used to send the text from the edit control to the server. The profile on the server provides a handler method for the command with the ID 1002 that broadcasts the message to all connected clients. To learn how this can be implemented on server side, watch the related video. To transfer the message and my own binding, it is, it is added to the data property of the command. CDEX takes care of keeping the data type intact. Finally, I send the command to the server by calling the call sync command. No additional handling is required because I do not expect any return values from the call. For a final test, I start two instances of my client. The server script is already running. After connecting the clients, I can send messages from one to the other. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you again on tmlsoftware.com.